Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome to an update on what's going on with the Sumo community on YouTube. Some people were still trying to figure out how to find places to watch the fights weeks after everything went down with the copyright strikes. So now that we've gone through another Basho, I figured it couldn't hurt to discuss what the three big sources of Basho footage are doing now and how things went for them during March. Jason's basically back to doing what he was doing before. He's still recording the TV and talking alongside it, uploading several fights, but not all of them, and combining multiple fights into a single video if it makes sense to do so. The difference is that he's using Abima footage rather than NHK. Abima is the channel that some streamers use on Twitch. I've heard they also hit people with copyright strikes sometimes, albeit maybe not as much as NHK. Regardless, Jason's got his thing and he clearly plans to continue. As long as Abima's wild camera work doesn't throw you off too much, it's still Jason. His link is in the description, or you can find him at youtube.com slash at sumo Jason. Kintamayama's channel is still around. He set everything to private when the strikes came, so it didn't get shut down, and now it's just a handful of live music videos. But rumor has it he's still on top of his sumo game. The videos are just a riddle you have to solve to find his work. It's not a difficult riddle. You can find his channel in the description or at youtube.com slash at Kintamayama Sumo. There's not a lot from Haru there, only day 1 and then days 11 through 15, so if you want to watch his videos of the whole Basho, you'll have to go to his Rumble channel which is also linked in the description. His name there is simply Kintamayama. I don't know if he intends to continue only putting the whole Basho on Rumble, or if more days in May might make their way onto the YouTubes. And of course, there's Nato, everyone's favorite High Lord of the Seven Seas. Yar. Jason and Kinta, as far as I know, didn't get hit with any strikes during this Basho, Nato got two. That's something I find strange. So many of us were upset with NHK for killing these channels in one fell swoop after letting them go for so long, like they were intent on no longer allowing anybody to show the Bashos in progress, but now the one guy they did repeatedly strike down only gets hit twice on days 3 and 11. I'm glad they didn't take his channel down and make him go to the backup, I just wish I understood what was going on over there. Anyway, Nato has a lot of avenues where you can find his uploads. I have his YouTube channel redacted in the description mostly as a joke, but I also don't want to take the chance, however slim, that linking to him helps get the channel shot down. The best way to stay completely on top of where he's uploading is through his Discord channel. Just Google Nato Sumo Discord and you should have no trouble finding it. If you're not a Discord user and don't want to be, as long as he has something uploaded, you should be able to just search Nato Sumo on YouTube and find his current channel. Something to know is that if you search for someone who doesn't have any videos uploaded, they won't show up. So if you're in a moment where his channel has been taken down and you're looking for the new one pre-Basho, but you don't have Discord or another good way to find out exactly what that is, try youtube.com slash at natosumo followed by a number. At the time this video is being uploaded in March 2023, the number is 3. The backup when this one goes down is 4. Presumably he'll stick to that system unless it proves problematic for some reason. If worse comes to worse, he uploads to four other video outlets, so there should always be a way to watch Sumo unless he decides to quit. In Sumo games, with the real life Basho ending, the road to Yokozuna Basho will start soon. This video should be going up on May the 27th, and the listed sign up deadline is also on Monday the 27th, but it takes time to get everything in motion, so we're happy to accept sign ups from new players who are a little bit late. We also let people sign up partway through so you can play and get some experience without having to wait a couple of months for the next one, so if you're interested but it's been a week, come by and jump in anyway. The game is played on Discord, and the link to that is in the description. Finally, a little bit about what we're doing here. The Papercraft Sumo was fun to make and record, but it took 3-4 to four hours a day, and all the ideas I have for making it better and more interesting to a wider audience would all add even more time to the process. That's not logistically feasible for another whole Basho. I deeply appreciate everyone who came by and watched them. I try not to worry about viewership as long as I'm enjoying the work, but given that I didn't expect it to take as many hours as it did, everyone's kind comments really helped with pushing through to the end. Yeet's videos are still planned for after the copyright strikes fade, which will be a little less than a week before the next Basho starts. I definitely want to do a quick draft video for Guess the Banzuke now that Chio Tasuke's helper is updated, and of course, there's the regular Guess the Banzuke video. That should be out on April 24th if I've done my math right. I have one definite plan for another video before that, and hopefully I can do more, but things may be a little quiet as we churn towards the end of the semester. For the May Basho, I'm going to see if it makes sense to make preview videos. 
I'm in the worst time zone for making anything about the day just completed, and previews would seem to fall in the category of content that doesn't get targeted with copyright strikes, so it's just a matter of whether I can make them in a manageable amount of time. That'll do it for this community update. Hopefully the matter of copyright won't keep creeping into our conversations, but I think it'd be great if there was enough going on in the community writ large to talk about. So, if you have something sumo-related going on, be it sumo events, wanting to get the word out about a place to practice, or content like a website or a podcast or a YouTube channel of your own, let me know and I'll at least make a community post about it. If there's enough going on to warrant a video, I'll do that as well. We're a community, not competitors. We can work together to make a rising tide that lifts all ships, even the pirates. Yar! Anyway, that's it for now, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you soon.